Hi everyone, salam, welcome to Alex Exclusive. Today I will share to you on how to troubleshoot an error on Mako Pad Washer. Yes, you heard it right, it's Mako FV130.2. So maybe, just maybe, if you have seen machine as I do, I hope this video could help you. So let's begin. Okay, recently I had these errors 204 and 304, and what are these errors? Error 304 temperature does not increase, whilst error 204 is following at the end of the rinse time but is still no change detected at the level switch. So of course, if you have a manual, you can check the description of errors and its remedy. And in this video, for error 304 temperature does not increase, you have to check all the heaters on your booster tank as you can see in the video and wash tank as well in its temperature probe. But most of the times, this error is referring to your heating elements, whether your booster tank or wash tank. But in my case, through resistance tests on my control panel, I checked that my wash tank heating elements are still good but not with my booster heating elements. So my booster heating elements is in need of replacement. And on this side of this control panel, you can see the level switch for the wash tank and the filling valve under the wash tank. So, when changing your booster heating elements, make sure to pay attention on the connection. If this is a series delta, you may put markings on it so you can put the way it was. But before you take out these elements, make sure to drain the water from that small green pipe, as you can see on the under, or better yet, on this pipe on the top of the booster heating element so it won't flood in your machine. But make sure, make sure to empty the water at the back you may use a small hose to suck the water out so it will drain perfectly okay we are done with error 304 now next up is error 204 which is following the end of rinse time still no change detected on the level switch in this error you have to check your level switch heater on your booster booster pump and check some loose connections okay so i checked the level switch by giving a pressure on it to check if it's still closing while it's closing. The heaters are newly installed, the temperature probe is okay. The resistance and re obstruction on the booster pump is okay as well, but still, this error to offer cannot be eliminated. Even when I try to drain it, still the error will pop out. So, what I did. I checked the board and continuity on the wires going to the accessory on our booster and its CPU as well. All is well and working fine but still there is no response on our booster pump so it cannot transfer the water in the wash tank and the gear motor kept on running the moment you start the program. So then I came up with my last option to check its parameter and luckily I have this other same machine so I get all the parameters and copied it on this machine. And parameters is also available on the manual and it varies also on the version type. So changing the parameters is also written on the manuals and the steps and the procedures on how to change the parameters. So all you have to do is to switch on your machine, wait until the first flush, press 3 seconds on the zero, then choose the code. Mind, since I want to modify the configuration, I put 20022 and enter on 2 1 to change the configure I need. In here, you can check the type of machine and model type, and you can adjust the wash temperature setting on where to get ready, and also you can adjust the rinse time to transfer and the volume of rinse. But of course, guys, I listed the original parameters before I change some parameters just for reference if the input parameters won't work. But the error doesn't stop there because in the middle of transfer, an error 301 appears referring to the number of circulatory pumping cycles exceeded, tank level analysis disrupted. So what I did, the last thing I changed is the time of rinse to transfer and I changed the time value and lessened it to the factory setting and everything just goes well. So that's it. We're fortunate because after all of it, it works. So that, that is my troubleshooting experience. I hope this video will help you in finding solution to your machine errors if you have the same. And if you have some ideas, feel free to share it on the comment section below. And don't forget please to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. Thank you for watching my video. Till the next one, God bless you guys. See you. Okay.